Yeah. They, they, boy, she played that role to a T, boy. I can see why she won the Oscar, boy. <laughs> Uh, said, said, what are you well, saying? There was a real, it was a, true, was a real, real life, like me. real life, bro. I don't think she was acting still, man. You say she become the character. She, she definitely became the. You know, like my man, in it, like it happens to some people, in it, man. Yeah. They get lost, it immersed in their character, mm. and then they become that character. It's true. She might have just be. Really you know, like my man from Batman, who is Joker. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. Man was doing some mad, mad for acting. Man died for. It. It's not deep. It's not. Uh, it's not even funny, but it's just. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. I said raw. Yeah, my man talked to himself differently. That still. was a serious role. That was a very serious. That was, yeah. You went in the store, but flipping all right. I, I, was, I was saying that could this apply to Monique in it. But why do you think Monique's such an angry black woman, though? I just wish she's entitled. She hasn't got the flowers she deserves. Mm, you but think she's I think she's because I'm looking at her career, yeah, and I'm thinking, okay, Parkers was the the Parkers was good. It was great. You know, it was great. You know, great. Then she did Pressures, and then I'm thinking, you got you did Queens of Comedy. What else have you done? And then I'm thinking, why are you moving mad in 2019 saying that Netflix has to pay you 10 million? You're not worth 10 million. <laughs> Let's be real, Monique's, Monique's not worth 10 million. I so agree. you playing are uh, the China. Destroy a black woman and you're playing a black woman card. They were deaf. Well, I mean, let me not say because I don't actually know where I'm going, but I think she's just so bitter, bro. Like, she really thinks everyone's just out to get her or just don't like her or mm-hmm. blackballing her. Because mm-hmm. the amount of passer that this Monique woman mm-hmm. has given to, bro, she just beefs everyone. Like, every time someone says something, she's just on them, like. And then she'll just get personal and then start crying on, on, on live and that. <laughs> you know I feel sorry for her husband. Every time she's going no, up, he's, he's just the, quiet, He's the like. biggest idiot <laughs> fan, man. Sorry. I, man man and Nibble sir, from about... Man's calling her daddy and, and he's there just... He's calling... It? Oh, no, yeah, she calls him daddy. Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. But, fam, yes, daddy. Hey, daddy. I oh, mean, I don't really see that and mad in that. No, he, he encourages her, man. I don't know. How, how so... He's like, he's always like, when she's moving mad, he's like, yeah, I agree, this and that. I'm like, fam. That's what I'm saying. Don't you think he's a bit of a, you know what I mean, with the height you mean, fam? He's like, yeah, yes, man, isn't he? He's a yeah, bit he's soft, a yes man, soft. Isn't he? Yeah, he's soft. Uh, he seems a bit soft, soft. He, he definitely is, though. Oh, he's saying beat her. Huh? Mm. Beat her male behaviour and that. That is mad. Boy, <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, furthermore. You don't want to slander a man's mouth in that. Take it, then. What? Um... What are you not thinking about this whole Johnny Depp situation? Oh, what about Hold that? Hold my guy, Johnny Depp. He must. The street saying it, that's the only time a man has won an argument with a woman. 100% man <laughs> you don't understand how big that is for for, oh, it's for, 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 for the gender over here you get yeah. but I wasn't even following the story like what so what who no, was like the girl the home girl was like she was the antagonist in yeah the but she was the one who like you know like yeah. them people here yeah, who do stuff to you yeah. and then when you you finally react yeah, yeah they want to then play victim yeah like, bro, man, you have had to P. deal with that, you know. P. That man had to seriously was, deal with that one yeah, there, bro. Play, like, you do bare defense. things, like, and to the point where, you know, like, when it gets to the stage where mm-hmm. it's, like, if, you, if someone was there with a camera following and showing yeah. you all the things that you're enduring, they'd understand why you're reacting like this and you do some of the things you do. Mm. You get me? And that's what the type the situation was, obviously. Mm. And like I said, it's not even a thing where... Let's say it had light effect. Mm-hmm. Like I said, bro, Donnie got kicked off Pirates of the Caribbean and all that. Yeah, he got sacked for that, Yeah, bro, yeah, bro. Yeah, they said that, safe. Like, they said safe to my like, man. And they're dickheads for that. They, yeah, they are dickheads because they didn't even know. No, but boy said you can't do that. You can, if, it's, if it's not, if the allegations are not true, whoever you work for, your brand that you represent, they can't sack you. They can sack you. I swear. Yeah, but obviously they're not supposed to sack you. No, yeah, they'd, but they How they, what they do is they'll just pay out your contract, bro. I swear. Because whatever you... You see whatever, like, yeah. for example, Paris, Caribbean, whatever. You're contracted to do it. Yeah. What they do yeah, is they just exactly. pay you out the money okay. and then you could, you're... Because you don't yeah. have to do it. So they're technically they just, sucking... Yeah, they just take the L, in it. Like, yeah. Because obviously, you have to remember, that representation, especially for someone like Disney. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's mad, dude. That, that can't, they can't have that on, on their butt because yeah. it's, it's more... It's like, it's cheaper for them to just pay you out, yeah, yeah and you take the money then for you to it's actually play the role yeah, and it yeah. cause bare controversy with yeah, the film yeah, right, because yeah. it damages their brand. You get, like... Cause, Come on, bro. Disney's not no small company, bro. This is not no small friend. You get me? It's like, it's like look at the, the same thing with Greenwood, bro. 
Yeah. Uh, what, what's happens happened, bro? Nike and all that pff, gone, bro. They don't need that assault, that association. He ain't been proven guilty or not the, yet. The audio clip is my but even, do you, even so, yeah. even so, bro. Even if they didn't have the audio, the moment that allegation comes out about you, you're coming out of the. You get me? The most that you could probably catch a blight here is you like where they won't get rid of you straight away, but you'll be out. Say if you're like a the main thing, they're gonna bring you out of the light, bro. Yeah. So it's a, slowly, yeah, yeah slowly. like no, but. I hear you, they're a rap here and everything you're saying. But I want to circle back though, because hold mm-hmm. tight Johnny Depp. Yeah. Man, like, hold tight his winning, because he deserved it. He's got his 15 amps. I didn't even know he was getting peace, but hold tight. Yeah, yeah bro, for defam. What's it called? Defamation? Yeah, it's just to pay 15 amps. Yeah, I rate that. Yeah, say, um, bro, fam. All of the things that happened there, man, I rate. But hold tight Johnny Depp. Man, I want to swing back to money. <laughs> yeah. So you, you see the thing here. You see what she's going through here, yeah, which I think is mental illness, cause yeah, mm. to a low degree. I'm not saying she's crazy, but I'm saying that a little little piece, you know what I mean? They need yeah. to have a look mm-hmm. inside and see what's going on. Because a lot of females from our culture, yeah have that kind of, let me not say a lot, but females from my culture tend to have this kind of, I know what you meant when you said entitled, they, they tend to have yeah. this kind of, mm. like, I don't know, All right, let's leave it as I entitled. deserve this, I deserve that. Yeah, like, but for, for no reason, just because you're a black woman or a big black woman or you yeah, make people you. laugh or mm. give a couple jokes, so every time they don't get an opportunity in life, or every time they don't get their own way, mm-hmm. they lash out and they do what we said was happening. My bad. What yeah. was happening in Johnny Depp's case mm-hmm. with the with the female is like you start going on like the victim. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and she has just been playing the mad victim, an angry victim for mm-hmm. a long time. So a lot of a lot of females in our society. But do you think that as men? We are all enabling this behavior, and if so, what is the right way to go about dealing with it? Because it's not like we can just walk up to them and be like, Oh, calm now, relax, stop doing that, just shut up. Because then it's gonna be a oh, you know, you're being aggressive. So, how do we as men start the walk towards remedying all of this bitterness with, with the females that we feel like is going on? I just think holding them accountable and telling them, like, Yo, you're moving mad, but then. Even if we do that, like you said, oh, you're a narcissist, you're toxic, you're all these big man buzzwords, you're gaslighting me, and it's like... You see this gaslighting thing, yeah? Yeah. I've heard you say it bad times, yeah? <laughs> and I hear other people say it as well. I've even seen it on posters. But where I'm not There's some big buzzword, isn't it, that, that everyone mean? throws around. So basically... you que- uh, question your sense of reality. Yeah. What, gaslighting? Yeah, yeah, so basically, you see, like, for example, let me do the easiest example to give it is that kind of cool. Say, yeah... I'm flickering the light. I'm flicking the light off mm. and on. But you don't realise I'm doing it. Mm. Yeah? Mm. And then you go to me like, oh, like, the light's flickering. And then I go to you, no. Mm. I'm gaslighting you, bro. That's because you're right, co- yeah. cause it really is, but I'm making you think, right? It's That's not what like... That's means. Yeah, yeah, like to make you question. Get, like, so you know that like, when someone's done something... <laughs> you, get, <laughs> you know when someone's done something, bro? Mm. Yeah, yeah, like... And you're like, right, man, I'm not like... But then they're trying to act like they haven't done that. Yeah, and yeah. you're questioning yourself like, am I bugging? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but you know, but they've really done it. That's what gaslighting is, so isn't it? who's gaslighting? The person who, and who's done something and making you believe otherwise. Yeah, they're a gaslighter. Yeah, they're yeah. the gaslighter. That makes this them the gaslighter, so, fam. This is so tricky. So, is it like just, they're gaslighting, like they're lying, they're trying to shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like they're making you question your sense of reality. Yeah, like. they're making you think that you're mad when you're Yeah, yeah, when so you're the not. The word for gassing is gaslighting. Yeah, bro. <laughs> That's basically what it is, still. That was a good one there. No, because it sounds like this big person just lying, and I'm like, ain't that gassing? So no, but you know what it is? It? It's like it's, it's not. It's, come along and it's, it's, it's not. It's not. It's not as simple as just lying. Me. Yeah, because it'll be over. It's like it's things here it's where like deceit. Proper, yeah, proper yeah, deceit. Yeah, like deep proper. Level de- yeah, deep yeah. level deceit. Like, like, like looking in your eye, like no, I didn't yeah, just yeah. slap you. Even I slapped you. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, like, like, It's like wait, what? Wait, what? You did it? Wait, but how can you? Wait, what? Yeah, I get what you're saying. I've been gaslit a few times. 
Yeah, bro. I do gaslit. It's okay. cool. But sorry, Ayo. I'm sorry. <laughs> You, you, was, you were saying black, black women are gaslighting? Is that what you're saying? No, they say, okay, it's like, let's say you don't agree with them or, you know, like, for example, social media, like a black girl says something, mm. you don't necessarily agree and then, because you're arguing your point, she's arguing her point, oh, you're gaslighting. No, I'm not gaslighting, I'm just, we have difference of opinion, but you're making me, you're making me feel bad mm. having my opinion to believe your opinion. So, mm. but then sometimes it's not even that, it's just, it's just, the words are just thrown around, thrown around like toxic and all these other mm. buzzwords. Yeah, I mean, it is, it is. I think what's toxic in in this situation is that we, as men, right, mm-hmm. I feel like we're tending to, in an effort to avoid unnecessary confrontation, mm-hmm. We just let a lot of behavior yeah. go. Yeah. yeah. And it's that's teaching bro. them that that behavior Yeah, it's okay, okay bro. And uh, when it gets to the point where we're not okay with it, it's like, it's, it's too late to say Yeah, it's too late, bro. It's too late. Allow it to go on. You know what I mean? Nah, but you know what? My, in my point, in my, in my case, but I always, you know, like, I always try to, like, approach females on certain things. The grinder thief. Oh, what? I'm sorry, it's cool. I'm sorry. I bro. I'm sorry. No, 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 G. G, G, G. You know what's funny, man? Because I'm sure that's my grind, G. Like, no, nah, yours not stay. No, you got to think, because you're thinking, I don't know how I end up with this, you know. Sorry, bro. No, it's cool. <laughs> it's like, it's... I'm just so... <laughs> I don't know how I end up. What was I saying? I'm sorry. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what was I saying now? About approaching a female when she's... Yeah, yeah no, yeah, yeah, man's yeah, trying, yeah, like, yeah. man's just like, man's trying to approach, like, females. You see, when they tend to do these things, yeah. yeah. But I realised, as you said, a lot of females, yeah, they don't want it, like, they try, they themselves turn a blind, like, they're not trying to hear that. Like, they don't want to hear that. Like they're not trying to ex- even if you'll be tell- trying to tell them on a level they're not mm-hmm. trying to actually hear what you're saying and take mm-hmm. in and work like improve on it they disregard it themselves mm-hmm. yeah and my thing is you can only really do that for so long because it's like you know if you actually take the time to from it's a lot to do because imagine if you're telling someone about a certain issue or a certain problem but then they disregard it and it's still like it still annoys you mm-hmm. yeah like how bro you know like i said it it's obviously there's loads of different situations that can but you know if it's like a severe thing that yeah. you're doing, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, bro, how do you how do you deal with that, bro? <laughs> like, how would you mm-hmm. say, bro, if a person that the person themselves disregard it? Because a lot of females tend to do that. Mm-hmm. Like they mm-hmm. don't wanna like there's no like like I said, there's no self awareness and like oh oh maybe I do that. No, it's not No man. Like mm-hmm. they don't wanna hear the bad behaviour. Mm-hmm. Like they don't like you know like certain people don't can't take caring any bad things about like you know anything they mm. just take it as oh no you're attacking me mm. it's mm. kind of that's where it kind of stems from me yeah. because you're taking it as instead of what's the word where you someone gives you constructive criticism that's yeah. it yeah. So instead of taking it as constructive criticism yeah. they take it as personal yeah, direct personal like, yeah. you get me and then that's what you get with oh yeah you're this you're that you're this you're that because no you, like you're actually missing the point like mm. obviously everyone has their own Way of it's like trying to get yeah. across to the person. Yeah. Some people not might not do it in the correct mm-hmm. way, but but in my case, uh, like I'm saying, I'm actually sit down and trying to. I'm giving you A B. I'm breaking it down to you. When you behave like this, yeah, <laughs> it causes me to act like this, and when and then I don't want to react like this. But you know that mm-hmm. doing this is gonna act me. Why do you do it? Da-da-da-da-da. Yeah, okay, Da-da-da-da. and then you do it again, <laughs> and then again, <laughs> and then again, and you're yeah. like, bro, like. Like, no matter how calm you are as a person, yeah, at some point, especially because it just depends on, like, you know what, if it's something that's light that you can ignore, cool. But there's certain times here where it's something here that, bro, it can cause a mad argument or this could cause a mad scenario. But, like I say, you relay it, and if they don't want they themselves don't want to take it on, bro, it's, it's impossible. What do you do? I don't, I don't think... Yeah, I can't be with a girl like that, man. No, you, but, bro, you, you know... can't take accountability. I don't want to... No, it's not long... It's not that easy though, man. That's what I'm saying. I'll stop talking. I'll stop talking to her. This is your joke. Your joke. Mm-hmm. But it's true what you're saying. So yeah. you're trying to correct you. You're, you're turning into some... But that's... You know where that comes from? A spot child, bro. Yeah. If you're used to getting your way. You don't have to st- take telling, bro. Yeah, you know how to manipulate your parents and all that. Them things are learned. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You're watching one parent manipulate the other one. It's, these things are learned, bruv. 
you can see it because you can't just get into a state of of social standing or a certain age bracket mm -hmm. and then just start thinking, all right, cool, well, the way I'm going to handle situations with people is... It was must be my I'm way. Gonna, yeah, it's just going to yeah. be my way. I'm just going to deny what no. people say to me. It's not how the and world works. It's, it's not. Like, it's, that's it's not, not how the world works, works bro. Like, Definitely not. And if you believe that that's how the world works, like I said, you're living in La La Land. Yeah, you have to. Imagine lying to you. Imagine... That's what you're doing. How can you lie to yourself? How can you lie to yourself? Easy, you don't have self-awareness, so whatever you believe is what you believe in. That's a, that's it. That's a perfect answer. You're in your own delusion, isn't it? But then you, that's yeah. what I'm saying. But the, you know what? It goes back to what we said, you know, about lot like what with Monique having a yeah. lower level of yeah. a bit of not being yeah. well, like mental health yeah. or whatever you want to say, yeah. Because like I said, <laughs> look at it like this, yeah. yeah. Similar thing with what you were saying is being yeah. delusional, fam. Yeah. Yep. Well, in your certain level of delusional, yeah. you'd be considered not well in your head, right? Yeah. You get me? But there's certain people where it's a low level where you can still, because like I always say, that, yeah, there's a lot of people out here that suffer with mental health here, yeah, mm -hmm. but it's low, it's low level and it's so level where they're still able to function normally in life. Mm -hmm. Do you get it? Yeah. But in certain aspects, you're like, oh, they're bugging out a bit. Yeah. But they're not. It's just that what that's just how they suffer. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. But it's a low level where they can still function. They're not... Like, you know, like, for example, someone who has it severe, yeah, and they can't physically function in life because of their ill, because they're not well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's some people who have it low, 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 low levels here where you might clock on it and you... But, like I said, because it's so low level, mm -hmm. you don't really take, take it in as, oh, yeah, there's something... Like, for example, they act a certain mm -hmm. way and... No, they they have low level depression. So at certain mm -hmm. periods of time, they're de depressed. So they're just acting out on their when they're depressed. But then, on the, at most time when they're not like depressed, they're cool. They're not. They're, they're, there's nothing else wrong with them. But they still suffer with that little low level depression. Do you get it? Like, mm -hmm. like, but it just it's not severe where it affect might affect their life in that aspect. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And then, like I say, especially when you're in, let's say public, the public's eyes. Mm -hmm. When you have them type of things, yeah, it's like it's easy for people to overlook that. You get me? Because you have to remember, we don't know what's going on in the background, what other types of things that are causing. Because, you know, like I say, when you see, like, entertainers, yeah. like, kill themselves, crack mm -hmm. under pressure and all this and that. Like I said, you don't know what she could have experienced, personal experiences. Mm -hmm. That's why when she's, uh, like, this could come from a clip from how she was treated when she was coming up in the game. So mm -hmm. her whole perception now, so she just comes across like, oh, yeah. But I feel when she was coming up, I feel like she was more... Love that she was more. Bro, but that's because unique. she, yeah, bro, because yeah. you know, you know what it is, yeah. All right. No, uh, she was coming from the death comedy jam days. Or yeah, I think she was like she was likable. <laughs> Parkers was killing it. I think she, she was likable though. Because when I look back, I ain't gonna lie, I like her still. Uh, I mean, I like I, as a character, I loved her. I think but I think the issue was she was, she was likable. Yeah, I mean, we see what we see. In yeah, it. but we you see don't the know. Script. We don't know the people. There's a lot of actors that I've watched behind the scenes shit and I'm like, I don't really like this guy. There's a lot of people I've watched them behind the scenes that I might not even like before. I'm like, you know what? I really fuck mm. with this guy still. Exactly. Like, he's a different kind of dummy. Yeah, because they, they say she was a bit, she's like, one comedian was like, she's rude. Mm. And then another, because I watched this comedian, like, podcasting and then one comedian was saying that because of her attitude, he got sat right in front of her and he had to take like do her job, so mm. there is like some rumors mm. or stories that she's like she's a bit rude. She's got attitude issues. She's a dickhead. That's a, basically uh, in yeah. the industry they label it as hard to work with. Yeah. And once somebody says you're hard to work with, it's what um that's what happened in the Will Smith situation with the original. Um, Aunt Viv, yeah, Aunt Viv. Yeah. Apparently, he said that she was hard to work yeah, with, like, well and that obviously rang on a few people's ears, especially when you're in a certain mm -hmm. position. Mm -hmm. You say that about someone, especially a black female actor in mm. Hollywood. It's, it's one of the hardest positions for any black female to be, if you understand. Mm. Especially as, as uh, 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 a, a weight that they would consider overweight mm. in Hollywood. But she made it work for herself. We fell in love with, with Miss Parker. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? She had the, the man that everybody wanted. She had the daughter that all the man them wanted. Mm -hmm. Her best friend was... I write to you with the blonde hair, you get me. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it was cool and it taught us good black family values. All of those shows were in a very strong line of shows. The Steve Harvey show, mm -hmm. The Parkers, Mr. Cooper, My Wife and Kids, One on One. All of these shows were the only things and God bless the producers and the makers of these shows and the networks that allowed them to be aired because they were the only examples for us to see positive black families, Say. positive black people. Fresh. Because now we don't have that anymore. Ever since they stopped showing My for Kids and yeah, Fresh Prince and that, who can we actually watch on TV that's black or a black family mm -hmm. in a positive light? Mm -hmm. They're showing them as successful. Mm -hmm. They're showing them as they don't cuss their parents mm -hmm. or their parents aren't cheating on each other. Like, or their parents ain't drug dealers. Uh, yeah, I'm saying. Or, you know, the mum's not promiscuous or... You know, the dad's not an alcoholic or a gambler. Mm -hmm. You know, the kid doesn't want to be a rapper. Like, do you get what I'm saying? It's like even the show my sister used to tell me about on Netflix. It was called Green Sutton. Oh, Greenleaf, uh, the church Green thing. Yeah, about this. this wow. time. And obviously, yeah, it's true. You know what I'm saying? No, nobody's perfect. It doesn't matter if you're a family that's from a church. Mm -hmm. And the, the program was about just bare stuff that was going on in their lives, but mm -hmm. obviously stuff that you would consider to be taboo. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, raw, well, like, you don't really know, innit? Do you know what I'm saying? But like I said, in it, everybody, everybody's life is whatever it is. For Monique, um, though, I don't know her, like I said, but it does seem like she might be hard to work with still. I think she's, she's maybe a not listener, somebody that don't, don't listen. Mm. And they take offence to a lot. Mm. Like, they think everything is towards them. Like, it's like, mm. what'd you say? Yeah. What'd you say, bitch? Mm. Like, where am I? Yeah, man. I was over there. I was, I was talking that bitch. <laughs> I went over someone like that as well, man. So yeah. I, know what they, I know what they mean when you say hard to work. So how do you manoeuvre around it? How do I manoeuvre around it? Mm. And just try to avoid working with him. It's hard to win. Bro, wait, is it, G, that's all. So is, he, is, he, is he like an alpha male? Does he have a big ego? Or... G, <laughs> he's nothing like an alpha male, bro. It's just that he's an ignorant... Um, Like, he doesn't listen... Like, you see what I'm saying? He doesn't... You know, him. Mm. Yeah, I, he doesn't listen. He doesn't listen, bro. Mm. He don't... Like, you see, for example, like, cool, you've got a task. Yeah. yeah. Our task is to do this task. Yeah. He will do... Uh, like, he'll go and do other things... That are not relevant to completing the task. Stand people like that. Yeah, but then yeah. when you then approach him on it, yeah, he's got bare ego and bare he's bare ignorant. Do you get it? Like so, it makes him di difficult to people. Like it's low because is that and then you even explain it like mm. this is what makes like I say when that like, with these types of people, you, you, I'll explain it to him mm. why man is saying to him, yo, we've got to do this because obviously we like that we can do that later. Mm. We need to complete this first before we move on mm. to that. He, bro, he will try to justify whatever. He's never, he never actually takes the, what you're saying to him. And then, like I say, he'll then go and do the similar act again. Like, do you get it? Like, mm -hmm. like, 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 he'll go and do the similar act. Think, things that you've told him, like, three times. He'll do, keep doing and make the same mistake and that. And you're like, bro, like, and then when you uh, talk to him about it, he's bare ignorant. Do you get it? Like, because some people just, I can't do it. I won't even talk to him. I'll just Bro. do my job and ignore them. Bro, but it's the, you know what it is? It's yeah, like, that was too. But it's, it's, it's a thing where it's like, he is a pot, he's needed to do, when, like, because like I said, then you're, yeah. it's, it's not a two, one man job. It's a yeah. two man job to, to keep up with the job. Mm -hmm. Do you get it? Like, yeah. so, it's like, that's why I even say to my man, I always say to him, like, bro, like, don't put me on shift of him. And he, like, when, when, if he puts me on shift of him, I'm, I'm, like, I'm, I'm like, bro, how are you doing? I say, bro, what are you doing, bro? Like, I'm, I'm going straight up to him because I'm like, you know, bro, can't mm -hmm. be putting him on shift unless there's three men. Mm -hmm. Bro, if it's just you and him, it's, you're, it's just you, bro. Yeah. Do you get it? Like, and it's, the problem with it is not the fact that he's an incompetent worker, but it's the fact that he's ignorant, bro. That's what makes him hard to work with, you know. Because mm -hmm. you could be, in, like I said, you could be incompetent, but at least if you weren't ignorant, do you get it? Like, mm -hmm. bro, it wouldn't. You see, ignorance is a mad thing because it will irritate you because it's like, that cool. You put up with it, and then what? You're supposed to just take it. How long for, bro? Until what? One day you flip a switch, and then you're now that angry person. That always happens. Oh, you're aggressive. <laughs> you're angry. <laughs> oh. You need to calm down. That's why I just rather say. That's why I just rather. I don't say nothing. I'm just like, all right, cool. You do what you're doing. I'm gonna do what I'm doing. Just stay out of my way, sort of thing. Yeah, man. 
Because it's long. You correct them and then... It depends on the position, though, isn't it? Because your position might be direct with the main mm. person. Then there's no avoiding. You just have to be diplomatic. But... It's how it goes at work sometimes. At least you work... I mean, if you work in a place where you can just walk past a man... And you yeah, know, no, but I could then I could let me add in very the, the things that you don't know. So now say your yeah. man's doing that, yeah. and then like I say, yeah. it's causing you now to be finishing late. <laughs> yeah, that don't happen because then I have to speak to a man. <laughs> so yo, whether you understand or you don't understand, this is when I go home. You know the ones that. So whatever pattern you pattern, whatever's not done, it's not done, isn't it? Yeah, you might have to tell boss man that it was my fault. And I'm <laughs> But say, say, say he's not trying to do that, then like, it's like, that's what I'm Bro, saying. It's no, I'm not staying past my work time because, because of another next, work. Because someone's incompetent. That Allow it, man. Even my own butt. You can't even match. Allow it. No way, fam. I'm one of them guys, here. Yeah. You see Flintstones. You know Flintstones? Yeah. I'm jumping off my seat. One, straight into the top in of the, the car. car. Yeah, I'm Allow gone. It, me and what's his name? Barney Rubble or whatever. The, I haven't done it. I don't even know if that was Mr. Flintstone. Fred Flintstone back then. And Barney. Barney Rubble, yeah, that yeah. Man li- that man linked up after work and took him home, bro. That man were burning Zeus. They just never... Man said they were burning Zeus. I swear, damn. <laughs> man said the Flintstone was smoking weed, bro. Man, bro. Man, oh. Yo, Joker. I'm going to rewatch the Flintstones and I'm going to read in between the lines. I'm going to break it down. But anyway, regardless, when it's home time, it's fucking home time. Facts. Yeah, so <laughs> I don't I don't want to hear nothing. In the yeah, paper yeah. I signed up. Can you say after? No. No, no yeah. Overtime is, no. is a lie. No, I don't want to. I don't do overtime. God forbid. I even told them, I do, don't give me, why do I want the extra money? I signed up for this amount. <laughs> That's <laughs> what I want. That's my contract. <laughs> don't don't, don't, don't give me nothing less than yeah, nothing more. No sweeteners out here, man. Yeah. Unless right. I come to you, don't come to me. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> It's an I'll call you kind of situation, but, but yeah, man, you get what I'm saying, bro. Shit, bro, that's how you handle them people there. I'm sorry, but yeah, you have to be militant, fam. Yeah, the boss do. has to understand. Yeah, you do, man. Like, man like, only with home time, though. I, I don't play. That's the only thing I don't play with, man, with home time. Bro, like, you're going yards. Jeez, man, it is, bro, I'm you don't understand. Time. Yeah, one I don't time. play with break time. Bro. My break time's playing. I remember one time, yeah, it was her, but man, a man, yeah, because like I say, he very, he's kind of slow as well. Mm. It's, it's, it's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> he's like, no, it gets worse. It gets worse and worse. It gets worse and worse. Bro, bro. Like, work with slow people, <laughs> yeah, it is the worst thing. It's not like they're slow, they're just slow and they're dopey. That's well. why, because you're just, yeah, you're just dopey, bro. Bro, you're slowing <laughs> down the process. I don't bro, know like, what like, your brain is on. And you know, I hate as well, bad people that talk. There in the mornings. Like, <laughs> why are you talking so much? Like my body's just woken up. It's oh, early in the morning. What, what, what are you talking about? What's there to talk about? Yeah, bro? asking bare questions already, bro. I don't even bridges <laughs> like that. Oh, oh, that's, like, well, that's like me, yeah. When I, when, when I get in the, the, the mornings, bro. Mm. I'm not talking to like probably bro like maybe like nine like probably like nine thirty. That's when I've really woken up, yes. even though I've been there for like four hours, bro. Yeah. I'm like, I'm really like, oh, what's wrong? I'm like, what do you mean, what's wrong, bro? What, what's like, wrong? Like, like, what's what's wrong? What's it's like, wrong? It's like six in the morning, bro. You what do you mean, what's wrong? You don't like, see like, yourself today. Like, Shut like, up, man. You might say, what do you mean? And then by the time it's like nine, I'm all bored. Because I'm like, yeah, because my body is this. This yeah. is when I should be waking up, bro. bro like. I only wait. I, I need food in the morning before I wake up. And even then, it's 11 o'clock. Past 11, don't even chat to me like that. So, <laughs> I mean, I, until 11. I mean, until 11, <laughs> don't even chat to me like that. Until I have my breakfast, don't talk to me, fam. Yeah. That is a man's head strictly for work slavery right now. No Trust communication. Me. Like, in the work, that like, especially in the work environment, yeah, you know, it's bro. like I'm saying, bro, how can I be here early in the morning? We're working, G. It's not like we're out here le- on leisure. Mm-hmm. We're out here because... Man's obligated to be because man has to, not mm-hmm. because man wants to. Mm-hmm. You get like, yeah. and you want me to just be talking, bro? <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, bro. I'll tell you, it's crazy. Uh, early, it's early, bro. Yeah, listen, man, you gotta have the. Uh, nah, bro, it's early, bro. Man, don't yeah. have that energy. I don't know bro. What you nah, I got, I got energy. I have energy. Certain jobs, your job is basically to talk anyway. 
So you no. just have to be on. There's no... Yeah, nah, 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 I, job, I communicate about the job, isn't it? Nothing else. No, 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 no. job is to people. Yeah, uh, customers, customers is, is like, yeah, different, cool. man. How is customers different? Because you're not... Different. Bro, the way your work colleagues trying to talk to you, trying to talk, talk. Work colleagues, you just... I mean, when you talk to your customers, like... They just ask you how you're like, oh, yeah, da, da, da. You're not... That's you're, what I'm saying. My, the, way I work, the way I work is not just a quick thing. I'm talking to the customer for a minute. Fast. And if I'm not uh, in a certain way, mm. it looks bad on the company. So from early in the morning, I'm like... Are you there, man? What's yeah. going on, like? You all right? <laughs> Come on, guys. What's going on, like? I have to be like that from AM. Like, I remember that. Like, all the way to PM. Yeah. Safe. The I whole run. Like, no, but you see how I used to do with yeah. that. Like, I used to do, like, for example, I'm not talking about... Because... You can have oh, energy face. in the morning. <laughs> yeah. You get it, like it's, you can be <laughs> ener- you can be energy <laughs> energetic. Like, oh my god! It might like, be that time <laughs> <laughs> you can be energetic, yeah. But you see what the problem is, yeah, mm-hmm. is when obviously you well, you know you you've got to be able to mm-hmm. read. Pe- yeah, like you know, I see certain people are yeah you can talk to certain man. It's just a quick you get well, read the energy. Everyone has that skill, you know. You get just want to read them. Yeah, yeah, because I'm energetic. You see, in the it's, morning, I think it's, I think it's an acquired skill. Look, not everyone, not everyone look, 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 you see, like yeah. my last job, yeah. Obviously, when I used to drive, I used to start yeah. at what I used to start at seven seven o'clock. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and when I used to drive, you see well, what yeah. I'm doing? It'll be like it'll be like six. It'll be like six fifty in the morning. Yeah, I'm thumping bashment and some dance hall. You get me? Like, I'm thumping on some vibes, can't mm-hmm. tell. Like, obviously, I'll snap and you'll see me. But what I mean, yeah, I'm mm-hmm. vibes in, I'm vibes in. People used to be like, why you got so much energy in the morning? I'm thinking, yo, because man's got to start my day with good oh. spirit. You get mm-hmm. it? Like, and then if you start, once you start right, your babe. day, with, once you start your day with good spirit, yeah, yeah you can bloody, um, what's it? <laughs> Like, you know, like... Yeah, you but you're not going to be like me every morning. No, but that's my point, yeah. yeah. Worry, Even man. when I go in, yeah, I'll be like, well, well, I didn't get me, but man will be able to read the room. Man mm. don't have... Sit there and talk. Because even when I'm in good spirit like that, mm. when certain people are talking to me, yeah, like, unless you're like... Because I had certain man mm. that I worked with, yeah, you're, you're, you're my, my work... You know your work colleague is... Yeah, 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 cool. yeah, 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 you can vibe with, yeah. 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 Them, them people there, like obviously you can engage in mm-hmm. but you know the people man know, yeah, man's not really trying to talk too, like, too, too mm-hmm. tough, you know. Mm-hmm. You get me? I might all have my AirPod in and that, yeah, and mm-hmm. I'm all vibing to a tune, and you're kind of just interrupting my vibes as I'm doing what I'm doing. Bro. Yeah, why do people do that? You got your headphones in and they're trying to chat to you. Oh, bro. Yeah, yeah, no, Wait. yeah, yeah, no, I had that today. Hey, bro. I was literally looking at a man like, bro, like you can see me speaking <laughs> to the AirPods. <laughs> and you're fully having, uh, you're smiling at me and talking. I'm thinking. I told you, people don't, people can't. <laughs> this is gonna get bad. People don't know how to read the room. I don't, that's crazy. To me. People, a lot of people are just very happy people. Like, over happy. Like, hi! Some people are like, hi! Shy, 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 shy. Yeah, you, know, you, know. you need them people, though. Exactly, but no, you don't. Still. You need you them don't. people. The whole world can't be glum, fam. Those I'm not people, saying be glum, but there's a time, people, there's a time and place for everything. Those people yeah. are the ones that create some things that we love, but we can enjoy them being glum because they made it in an excited state. Does that make sense? Yeah, this guy nope. with the, polit- the political answer, man. All right, cool. So let's say, for example, yeah, mm. I'm sitting on this pillow. It's comfortable, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. We're all appreciating the, the comfort of this pillow. Yeah. But <laughs> the person that made this pillow, <laughs> yeah, is probably a fucking... Uh, it wasn't handmade or anything, but let's say it was handmade. It was probably a fucking happy person. You know, you're working with such a soft material. You make it yeah. look so nice. Yeah. Uh, pink. If you style it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You was probably there in your yeah. workshop, like... Yeah. Yeah, I, I hate... Listening yeah. to some pop music on some <laughs> FM station. <laughs> there, one of those people I'm talking about. But we're enjoying it. Mm. Not having to be like them, mm. you get. Yeah. So Why can't it be a female? I didn't say it was a female or no. Oh. I said they, I'm sure, I hope, I think. Uh, no. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's one of the two. It's the one no, of the you did say they still. But yeah, like, you get, so we need them people in life, blood. I work with a couple people, and bro, 
When I say happy, obviously they didn't grow up in the city, so yeah, I mean, it made sense. Like they grew you know up that. out in the outskirts, so their life was a lot happier anyway. Yeah. So, bro, and they haven't been battered down it, like really that much for them to have lost it. So they come to work peppy, like yeah, it's like they're skipping when they're at work and that, yeah, like all doing twirls like, and they dancing. Have, they have enjoyment being here, bro. I'm looking at them like, bro, hold. It. I have to applaud it. But they just know how to access that side. Mm. They probably have their glum shit, but they probably leave that to when they get home or some mm. shit like that. But then people there, bro, even I look at them like, bro, I'm a, I'm an upbeat kind of person, but you are making me feel... Actually, I'm not upbeat. I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of slow, man. But I can be upbeat at work. But you need those people, bro. Without those people, the whole world wouldn't move. Look at Chinese people. Best example. Everything in the world comes from China. It's all made in fucking China. Maybe mm-hmm. Bangladesh, maybe California, mm-hmm. or some shit like that. Or Taiwan, definitely. Mm-hmm. Everything comes from China, right? Mm. Everybody knows. When you buck a Chinese person, like, hi, how are you? Everything nice. They're just oh, yeah, different. Yeah, They're happy. Yeah, 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 they they Unless they've been here. I don't know, it's mad, isn't it? Unless they've been here. The way he did it, it's mad. <laughs> I'm not saying what I'm like. They're happy, they're different happy. We know uh, Asian person's happy is just different. And they got the high pitched voice. It's long. If they grew up here then they try to be all suave with everything, you get me? But if they come from back home and they're fresh and all that, they're just peppy, they're happy. Ah, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's you know, go. That's like, how they are. You get me? Why but, so happy? but they make everything. If they don't have that peppy energy, yeah. the world would not have shit, bro. All these right. phones we're enjoying. Mm-hmm. Probably, I don't know where it was made, but we would not have it because we need them motherfuckers, them happy, peppy, annoying people. Yeah. They're not annoying, not Chinese people. I'm not saying Chinese people. No, I'm saying happy <laughs> over peppy people can be annoying sometimes. Woo. That was crazy. <laughs> 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 I see my love about the camera. Oh, he, 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 he did the voice. <laughs> <He's> like, hi. <laughs> hi. No, but I know like, exactly what he's talking about. Like, I know exactly because I've experienced it still. It's an energy thing. It's definitely an energy thing. Yeah, that ain't, I don't have that energy until 11. <laughs> right, so I don't have that energy. <laughs> <It's true. laughs> certain time. Yeah, that's when it kicks in. Or certain people, it's just... Nah, man. You can only bring out that energy around certain people. It just, nah. do you know what it is like I well, said yeah, it depends there's a lot of variables it depends if I'm tired as well oh, oh yeah tired. definitely it depends if right, you see if I'm tired like tired tired you don't <laughs> talk to me bro <laughs> don't chat to me fam I'm not happy to be here bro mm. I gotta work here <laughs> You get me? Like, I'm a believer of like, look, I've been stripped of my right, yeah, to just to, to, to just live life leisurely. Don't be lazy. Do you get? It? No, you know it's not. But even you like, that it's not. No, no, bro, no, no. Bad shit, no, no, bro. You know what it is. Yeah, it's because yeah. it's like okay. you see these companies, bro. At the end of the day, yeah, yeah, they don't care about man. So it's like you. All, you see, some people love their job. Yeah, it might be because they love what they do. Mm-hmm. You get me? Like, but that also applies here. Like, it depends on your work environment. That's you see, good. if you got a good work environment here, yeah, it's mm-hmm. calm. You might like your job. You might you might not even like what you do mm-hmm. do at your job here, yeah, but because the environment is so calm, man doesn't mind doing it. <laughs> it's adapting a lot of times. Because you see that, yeah, man had that. But that's first ever job. Like, when I worked at Argos, mm-hmm. but obviously the all the um, people like were well, mainly young, so we done some training course. Mm-hmm. That's when we got to know each other. It was cool. No, yeah. man used to go to work vibes. You want to do overtime? Yeah, man. Go on, bro, man. Use work. Use on shift, like. Which one of my jeans is on shift, like? Because all that you get, like, we're just all cool. Yeah. Like, it's so the environment. I went away, went uni. Yeah, when I come back, there's all a new manager. Hey, yo, there's two new, like, yo, shit changed. Like, I was like, yo, no, man can't even work. Change. Man can't even work here. Like, I, was, like, I was looking at the wage slip. I said, nah, you lot ain't even paying me enough no more. And the only, the only factor what made me think that was because the environment changed. Yeah. Right? Hmm. If the environment didn't change, I would have been there, I would have been cool with it, bro, fam. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, because the experience was, you know, like, when you get an enjoyable experience, it's like, I call, for example, you see, like, people who love football, ballers, mm-hmm. if they become a professional footballer, yeah, they're going to love this, bro. Mm-hmm. 
when they go to work here, they're gonna love it, bro. Mm. Because that's if that's the, the something they like doing, mm. like yeah, it becomes a leisure to like. And like I say, for example, if they're in a bad, like let's say a footballer, they say they're in a bad environment in a team where they're not like the environment's mad, they don't perform a lie. Mm. <laughs> See how that's why environment's essential, bro. Well, isn't it up to us to make that environment? Nah, bro. But sometimes like, a lot of the time. You can make your own world, but sometimes your work environment is so shit, yeah. Like you, you can't just, save you it. You need to get out of there, fam. It's mad. So it's about, especially because, let's say, for example, you see it, Koya Yaga, that, all of that, we're more conscious of that. But all the older people, they'll have a job for like 15 years. 15, 20 years. The same and they'll have and they'll be like, it'll be a shit place as well, but they'll just, yeah. You need to run. They're wired different. They're 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 on this. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. They're on this. If I quit, what what do I have? Whereas I our generation, it. Generation Z, they're like, okay, I don't like this. So I'm gonna do something else. I'm gonna quit. <laughs> I I, read, I actually read that. Yeah, I'm not getting. Like, I'm not happy here. Why am I? Fine, bond this job. I'm gonna go. Like, bro, but the older generation is like, if I quit, what do I have? I don't have no qualifications. I don't. This is what I've known for twenty years. What am I gonna do? Because you know what it is. We we're programmed into like wanting to like we want to live. You see life. Yeah. How we perceive to live life mm-hmm. is always in happy, like in our best, like happy. Yeah. In our best interests. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when we you see that like, we're in like a dead environment, mm-hmm. obviously to us now we're thinking, oh, there's hundreds of jobs out there, man. Let like, I'll find something different and bust mm-hmm. out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whereas. The older generation, you know, once they got that sense of security, yeah. they'll just be content with that. But the, you have to remember, like, for example, I guarantee you, there's a lot more people trying to be, like, you know, like, there's a lot more people trying to be self, like, self built or self employed. Like, yeah, you get me? There's a lot more of that now compared now, to yeah. back in the day where it's more, I'm trying to get that, the height, you know, like that position in, in, in top in a company, like, mm-hmm. where you're some project area manager yeah and you 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 get you on some crazy yeah. wage like that was more of the in thing but now like I say a lot of people obviously due to the internet YouTube and all these yeah. things yeah there's a lot more people like because for example you can just like, let's say let's say you meet a person that's saying like cool yeah you might also sixteen what do you want to be they might actually say a social influencer that's something I sell they will say that exactly like mm-hmm. and my point is I'm saying that why because for example you're in control now of your own money. Facts. You get because you're self. Like if you actually succeed, but then then it's a bad, it's a bad thing as well because everybody's doing a hundred a hundred things, but doing nothing because okay. of this. Oh, I'm trying to get the bag. Entrepreneur, but not everyone can be an entrepreneur because not everyone has that leadership. Not everyone has that business acumen. Yeah, but because of like you said, social media, YouTube. You know, you're seeing your favorite influencer doing. Five things having five businesses, you think you can do it as well? It's not. No, nah, man. That's what I'm saying. Because that that mm-hmm. there, you gotta know. Like obviously, you can't mm-hmm. just everything here. You have to assess your ability. Cause mm-hmm. you see what my thing is. Like, I think yourself. it's hard to assess your ability because you're just watching other people. Talk exactly, about. bro. Like you have to know what you. Cause yeah, I you know, have to know what you're good at. You have to know I, what you're. Yeah, needs. like you need to know yourself. Like, what do I excel or sell at? What yeah. is my? That's what I'm saying. People like, don't know themselves because they're watching other people. Yeah, that's people. exactly because you're focused on, like, yeah, he's got five businesses and this and that. But I'm saying that's because he's focused on his five businesses. He's not watching other people. Exactly. You get like, mm-hmm. and it just depends on how you take that. Because like I called you apply. Like, so are you seeing he's got five minutes and thinking, yeah, cool. How I'm gonna apply myself now and. and Work my actually make progress to making my five minutes or just <coughs> following, to get me and doing things vaguely. Do you get it? Like, because mm-hmm. some people, like I say, they t- they like they don't understand you. Know, like, you in certain things, you have to immerse yourself in to do it. Like, to get into to 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 be able to succeed in it. Like, you can't just be at cool. I want to do this, do that, do this. Because now you're not actually focusing on one thing and actually. Cementing it, like, cause, like, well, look at, it, like, like I say, say you open, you have see some people they're like they're inf- influencers, but then, like I say, what do they, what do they do with themselves? Like, they make a fool of themselves. You get me? They're not actually focused on nothing. Like, cool, they might try to be a rapper as well. 
You get me? Because how many, how many influences you know? Bro, you, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, they start you know, I'm not here, so. but I just hate that because I feel like. And then they just decided. You're disrespecting my man's cause because it's people that actually do music. Yeah. No, you're, but you're just doing it to get a bag and get some clout. That, 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 you know, that's what you do. You know the way we have to look at it, bro? Yeah. Do you know how all this stuff really, realistically is yeah. stupid? Because if the internet goes down, yeah. they, their life stops. It's peak. Their money stops. Yeah. Everything stops. Mm. A lot of people can still go to work. Mm. A lot of people can still go and fix someone's sink. Mm-hmm. When you social influencers and YouTubers mm-hmm. and the internet goes down, let someone wage cyber warfare on this country or in mm-hmm. America and take away the internet for mm-hmm. a month. All those people go broke. Mm-hmm. The money's digital. It's mm-hmm. not <laughs> real money anyway. <laughs> you're just earning it mm-hmm. on points. Mm-hmm. It's like a game, XP. You're just getting... Mm-hmm. It's like, what is that fucking game? Sonic, when he's running and getting the cranes. That's all it is. Let the internet go down and we'll see how much, how valuable this new uh, uh, economy really is, bruv. Means jack shit, fam. If your electricity dies in your house, you will stop, bruv. <laughs> you get me? But man can still cook food with a gas cooker, bruv. Mm-hmm. Hey. So learn a trade, innit? Yeah, you want to be a social influencer, mm-hmm. cool, but learn a fucking trade. Learn something like Because if, something. You, if you can't afford internet one day, what the fuck's going to happen? If someone steals your iPhone and you didn't get insurance and you can't get another one yet because your credit's fucked and you can't afford to buy it straight, mm-hmm. then what are you going to do? Well, you, you just have to not be a social influencer anymore. What am I going to do with my life? Oh, I'm going to use the rest of credit. I don't know. I'm just going to try and get another phone and use the rest of credit. No. You should have known the trade. You should have learned to type 3,000 3, words uh, five minutes or something. I don't know what the fuck it is. So yeah, it's cool. People can say because I've heard these young people. Oh, I want to be a YouTuber. Mm-hmm. I want to be a YouTuber. I want to be a YouTuber. It's like, what? You want to be a fucking YouTuber? You want that's your amb- That's your career path. Not that you just want to be a YouTuber on the side. You want to be a YouTuber as a career. They're that's like, crazy, yeah, bro. and I'm like, that's mad. Wow. It's mad because we are understanding what this stuff is. But remember that this is they were born in. And as soon as they were old enough to understand the internet, that's all they saw. That's it. We saw the beginning, basically, of the internet. Yeah, the beginning. And seeing what it is now. So, but that's why it's like, we're foolishly just entertaining this idea that, yeah, we're just going to entertain all of these YouTubers and they could very possibly fail. Because if somebody just doesn't like your video and they have a strong opinion in the world, and all these people start watching your videos. Yeah, that, conversation. that alone yeah. has, has stopped your income. Mm-hmm. You are now getting no income because your streams have mm-hmm. your likes, mm-hmm. your engagement. Mm-hmm. You have no trade skill. Yeah, and no, I say, mm-hmm. to actual knowing something like, what kind of craft, man? Okay. Yeah, and something like that. that. But that's what, well, I was saying, yeah, it's for example, the ones that <clears throat> like to dabble. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, I look at it and I say, cool. You haven't got, like, you know certain influences they get because they stuck to their, what they do. Yeah. Like, they become presenters and mm-hmm. you get it because that's what they did. They stuck to what they've mm-hmm. done. Mm-hmm. You have, like, you haven't got other, like, they haven't gone off and then tried, like, when they got a little bit of thing, I'm going to bounce onto this. Uh, I'm going to bounce onto that. I'm going to be a rapper. Like, cool, no, no. I want to be a model now. You get me or not? Because mm-hmm. you see what it is, like, often enough here, yeah, they'll look and see, like, cool, because I've got, the attention, what can what can I what can I like what like what can I use to now turn the attention into revenue? That's why you dab they dabble in these other things. And my thing is I'm saying that look in the media, yeah, you wanna be in the media. My other thing is that cool, be known for something, fam. So if for example you wanna be a rapper, be a rapper. Like but if you want to be a person who's, like I say, a rapper, actor, this, that, that, yeah, bro, that's, there's, like, you're not being solid, bro. That's my whole point. Remember, you're doing... But then you're, if you're more talented, then you can do that. No, but you can, but that's a rare... Gee, how many people do you see doing that? It's a rare thing to do, about, Look at all these rappers that... No, but I could... The best one, actors, who, the, the best one who to say is, yeah, is, let's say, is like, at cool. What's his name, man? KSI or whatever. Yeah. He's the best one to say he's done it, yeah. He's done that. Been successful at doing that, yeah. But my thing is, yeah, how many other net, like how many other people who have you seen do that, bro? Not, not many. Exactly, bro. So, so many. Fell. But the ones who do, who tend to get somewhere, you know, the ones who stuck to what they yeah. do, bro. Like, and they. 
focused on yeah, like, yeah build myself prevalent. build myself in that. Yeah, apparently yeah, he obviously was a YouTuber and then what did he he's, become a rapper? He was a YouTuber and then he become a boxer or something like that. Then he, he then he does music from time to time. Yeah, he does, does boxing. He does all these things because they're like signed to labels now, bro. So what we didn't know what was happening a few years ago is that music labels started understanding the power of social media. So they started signing artists. I mean, sorry, artists, not artists. They started creating contracts for social media influencers. So you didn't have to do nothing to do with music. They just wanted your following. Because they knew they could turn that following into revenue. Mm. So all these Catch Me Outsides and all these Dillers and all these people started getting signed. And they started getting money. And it was like, listen, you got a lot of fans. We can make your shit look even better. Make more videos, yeah, get more fans. And that's what they started doing. That's what started driving a lot of these social media people that were seeing in a very big light now. Mm. Because a lot of big industry money people started getting behind it because that's where the industry clocked shit that's where we need to go that's where the money is the kids mm-hmm. the youtube watchers yeah do you know what i'm saying they got their, their, you see what it is At, you see when you're younger mm-hmm. you've got way more time to consume stuff as you get older you've got less and less time to consume yeah. stuff because why you got to do like you got to be working mm-hmm. and focused on other what things you get yeah, like like so the best one market to go for is the one that's consuming the most material, fam, which is the... Yeah, yeah. and that's what... This is, like I said, it's the, in, it's the internet generation now. You get, like... Everyone, like I said, bro, come on, man, you got a thing like Metaverse and all that. Or whatever, it's, or whatever that thing is called, that. <laughs> Virtual <laughs> reality now, bro. So you people are not going to gonna stop living in the real world, bro. It's happening now. Bro, I know what's happening, bro. Facebook made it, innit? My man, that... What's his name? Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg. He's the next guy in it. So, boy, his eyes won't look straight. You know, so that's, that's what we're getting into. But I feel like the record companies were doing that with actors or whoever was popping. Nah. Yeah, you're popping, all right, cool, you're going to make a song. It's going to go number one. In, you know, right? they only did it with musicians. What yeah. would they do to do with an actor? Come on, man, Mr. Bobby had the number one. A couple oh, actors well, did actors song. make music. Yeah. No, that's different. Because they can just approach you with a single deal. Or you have so much money, you don't need a fucking label. You can just release a fucking single. Get me. Like, when you, the only reason people have labels is because they don't have the money. If you have the money, the fuck are you need a label for? Yeah, bro. I'm just going to you go, for it myself. G, G, you can go to the publishing company. And the worst thing is, what you see when you're, if you're an actor, mm-hmm. bro, you just got to ask too, too, bro. Oh, yeah. Because you're going to know people in the music industry. Yeah. We were talking about like, this the other day. Actors. <laughs> I don't remember who... I think it was on the, on the, on the farm, bro. I don't remember where we were. But there's three groups here of celebrity money. There's actors that I consider when we're talking in it. Actors, musicians, and athletes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In the world, actors and athletes are making the chekanga ganga. Because you're talking actors getting... Obviously, actors can get a low budget. So they can get a couple grand, you can get yeah. 500 grand, but we're talking big leagues, isn't it? Yeah. So you're talking actors getting anything from 5 to 10 mil to 65 mil for a movie yeah. to shoot. I'm not saying it's easy to shoot a movie, yeah. but this is not the only movie they're going to do in their life, you know? So imagine you're getting mil- that amount of change for one movie. A musician yeah. might not see that in their whole life, bro. In their whole life, bro. Uh, uh, athlete, you're looking at anything from ten to a hundred, maybe over mil a year. A year. That's not even one time. That's a year. Can yeah. you believe? Yeah. So in your life, you're you're seeing maybe half a billion if you're lucky with endorsements and all this yeah, other beautiful yeah, stuff. Plus but musicians, yeah. Come on, it's fucking hard, bro. Yeah, man, I, That's why the transition and the other things. That's why they have to try to do other things or really sell themselves. Or really just give it all, mate. Uh, I have to give it all. Because, bro, actors chilling with... They talk about it. Listen to actors when they have interviews. They'll talk about chilling with actors. Um, musicians will talk about chilling with actors and athletes and talk about how they bring out the money. It's different. Because we'll be in the club balling, but they just ball out different. Different. Because their money's stupid, long. Mm. Are you down? Pay me 20 mil for one movie and they told me to do 50 movies. I'm doing all of them. I'm not even spending one P until I finish the last movie. I you just want to see the bank thing about it is, yeah. it kind of mad. As well, you see there, like, everything here they need, yeah, gets 
gets funded for, bro. The man that yeah. needs food, yeah, them mm. just bought for them, bro. Like yeah. they need what to some if they have to live wherever to to, to do that. Yep, yeah, <laughs> that's paid for, bro. Like. <laughs> Imagine being rich and you don't have to pay for shit. That's what I want. That's bad. That's bad. <laughs> you got all the Your money, living bro. cost is almost zero, bro, but you're <laughs> yeah. getting paid bills, bro. It's called pair piece. People are just saying no. You get me like, no, sir. <laughs> don't matter. It's on the house. It's like, where? <laughs> shit, yo. Come here. Yeah, my father there was more, more, not much money in music. I was like, oh. There's money in music, but there's there not is, much but money in music. It depends who you are. It depends on what you're, yeah, who you are, what you're doing, what you're, you get me. It's, you're Jake Beyonce, Taylor Swift. It's a much smaller pool, basically. Yeah. It's a much smaller pool of people than in the other industries. That's why when people are making such money in music, mm-hmm. we glorify them so much because we know how much they're making. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't even know how much actors make on movies. A lot of people don't know how much people, a lot of athletes' contracts are worth. Unless it makes news, so it's break. Oh my gosh, this guy's got paid a hundred and five mil. Oh my gosh, this guy just made a bit more than Ronaldo last year. Like all of these kind of like though, that's just for gas. You know what I mean? But yeah, on, when man. it comes to musicians, everyone knows how much every musician made because they have to talk about it because they need to feel like I'm a piece, you guys. I'm a, rich. I'm rich. Please mm-hmm. accept me. So you're dreaming that. It's mad, I was watching yeah. music business street. Oh, so that he owns that car, yeah. And then I find that oh, they just rent it. I said, oh wow. Car was there when he showed up. They own all the. They own all them girls. Oh, I was just. No, I said, just, they just own all them girls. Yeah, well, hilarious. You are pooping. What? Yeah. <laughs> the guy that took all them girls. I said, all them girls. I said, all the girls in the house. They all your girls, yeah. And then I find that oh, they just. Oh, they're just actors, man. Oh. They're just acting. They, oh, that's not even his car. I, I said, "Rah, these devils want to sell a dream to the to, to the world, fam." Bro, imagine some of that jewelry is glass, fam. Who's glass? What? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did you say? Some of the music videos yeah. jewelry is glass. Let me look at that. It's proper. It? They have to sell a dream. The musician has to sell a dream. They have to sell a dream. And they do it well. I'm not saying the order of them are brass, yeah. but they have to exaggerate. And the label does. Because even if I'm an artist, I ain't coming out of my jewelry all day. What the fuck to go back? Yeah, Why would I do that anyway? That's stupid. I must have a complex. But I must, you must have come from some real brokenness. Yeah, bro. Are you mad? Bro, man, just wear that when I feel like wearing it. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Even now, I don't wear all of them. Yeah, bro. wear one or two here. What looks good today? I might not even wear something some days because it's long. Sorry, because Pop. it's long. I can't be asked. It's long, boy. Mm-hmm. Ah, come on, man. These men are just really yeah, all the big chains and more. And then you get contracts where they have to sign where if they've got an endorsement with a certain company, you have to wear this or. Oh yeah, like that's this, man. You have to dress. You see like when that. they stop. You see when they it depends, start. Tra- it depends. You see when they start trying to control, it, control how you dress. You can even yeah. do that, bro. If you get that's a sign of slavery, bro. Do you understand? Not really, because... Nah, no, bro. Man, if you like a certain that, brand, bro. yeah. Fam, no, bro. If Nike has a sign, no, oh, bro. here's a lifetime brand, you, you can't wear anything I else. I, I can, I can I deal with that. No, but that, <laughs> no. that, that, that's, that, that's, that's, that's... That's what you're saying. That's you, very different. Because you wear the brand, like, you wear the brand. It's not even just about wearing the brand, but, yeah. You have to understand them, but... If a man says to you, rah, not even you, yeah, because you're going to be that slow, but imagine an artist signs a 360 deal. Yeah. The label says they own fifty percent of your rights or something. Like nah, that. they own your creative. They own your what's it called? Uh, creative creativity and your name, creative your name and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they own how you look. They own everything about how you dress, smell. They own that. Even in your personal life, they own that. Mm-hmm. So you can't even come out. They're trying to look they, like a biker boy. They're mad they're telling you wear boots, high saying, heels. No, what's that? And you're saying this is just the fashion. They said fashion what? This is was your scheduled look for this week. So you must go back in there and look like a pop star quickly. That's That's you know, under it. That's, That's what they tell you. That is mental. Can you imagine? Why do you think a woman will go and shave her head? A million, a kajillion there. Yeah. Yeah, From mad. young. That's mad. It's not because... They're crazy. It's because they can't take it anymore. The pressure's mad. It's like, just leave man alone. Like, raw. Like, shit, this is mad. It's slavery, bro. It's real slavery. Labels it's and all that. slavery, bro. Like, like slavery. I say, if you, if you have to remember, yeah, 
like let's say for example with athletes and mm. actors they don't like you see when they're getting their deals mm. yeah it won't be it like it's not inclusive of your other movies it's like imagine the first company you make a movie with yeah that says yeah any other like you can't make a movie with no other 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 figure or whatever mm. but then it's like you're saying like cool you're only getting paid like they put you like obviously they sat they you signed it for a stupid amount of money in it yeah you're gonna be stuck in it like say now say imagine you get a better deal now you can't even you can't do nothing like so you should be yeah yeah, yeah, yeah like like you just signed like that's not like obviously that doesn't happen that don't like does that I don't know does it happen to actors bro does that happen bro so it depends if you if you sign to the only Universal you can't make no other movie with that. Sony or I don't think it I, I, it doesn't really work like that though. that's it what I'm saying it's like the whole, the whole yeah, fact, like the way the contract like everything's contracted yeah, that's why that's I think like, it's different with like okay like athletes contracts are more similar to music contracts than act then actors that aren't really in contracts like that. They're not held to anyone. They're just actors. You just get mm. calls for a job. You go audition. Mm. If it's shot by Universal, it's shot by them. It's shot by Dreamont, it's shot by them. Mm. But they just get offered a price for the thing. But in cases like we'll talk about Johnny Depp, where he was in such a great position and they knew that they were going to have such a big franchise. Mm. So if they know we're going to make loads of these movies and we want to keep this actor because he is... It's like we're home alone. Yeah. They knew that. Whoever, I don't know who made that, but they once they saw, obviously, the success, yeah. or maybe they had the idea already, they thought, fuck it, we got we got to milk this. So they did two and then they did three. And I think he was in all of them. And obviously... Yeah, I don't think it was in the last two. Yeah, the, 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 the shit ones. Yeah, the media ones. Know, was he in three? He wasn't in three. Was he in three? I don't know. It's not important. But he had a good run. We know it for home and home. And realistically, <clears throat> in your contract, it wouldn't be a contract on a personal thing. It would be like, maybe after the first one, we want to sign you in for another film. Mm. Just to complete another film. And that's included in your in your big paycheck. Mm. <laughs> and you want to dispense one, one big check uh, one, one every six months. Like, I don't know the details, but... It's a it's a lot better to be an actor in my eyes. Yeah. It's a lot harder because it's very very few people in music. Yeah, few people make music. People like it. You get paid. Maybe these days streaming. As an athlete, you can have loads of people on the team. But in acting, you can have a movie with five main actors, and there's a thousand people that wanted that job. There's a hundred and fifty people that went to the audition. And two got picked, and three were just put in because they knew someone. That's the odds. It's very different, very slim. So actors are hungry. <laughs> Them men are known to be eating baked beans that are cold and that, and still going to the audition with a smile on their face, bro. Yeah, so that's why they get paid sixty-five more fucking. Million.